Okay. Hopefully this helps you guys and, uh, you know, into understanding a little bit more about Detroit, about how I comp and what I'm looking for as far as in my comping numbers. I'm not looking at the highest comp in the neighborhood. I want to find the in-between. I want to find, you know, if there's an oddball that that comp sold for really high there and it's the only one in existence, I can't take that comp. Okay. So keep that in mind, uh, keep that in, in the back of your head and the numbers don't lie, okay? So with that being said, uh, you know, hopefully everyone out there has, uh, you know, has enjoyed this and things like that. So um, Freddie said, in case I wanna do another sample, all right, let me, it's a land bank property. Total rehab is happening right now. Okay, so let's take a look at that one real quick. All right, let's see, 5048, Oreg Oregon Street. Awesome. Thank you, Angel. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right. So this was a land bank, supposedly a property, a uh, three one. All right. Let's take a look at the street view. There's an empty lot next to it. This looks very familiar. Did I already do this one? That lot looked very familiar. No, I did not. That was on Montgomery. Okay. Just had to check because that side lot looked very, very familiar. Okay. So this is a 3 1. Uh, home last sold for. 3900 I'm assuming that's what it sold for uh, from the land bank. Oh, no. That was in 2008. Okay. So this is a land bank property. And the block's not really the nicest block. So let's do Duplicate this and go back to the search. Do a little visual on where we're at. Potaskian Osco Asiago. I know I said that wrong. It's okay. It really is. Okay. So we're going to go in here and we're going to type in. Oski and Asiago. I want to see where the boundaries are at. So we're not in that neighborhood. So what neighborhood are we in? All right. There's really not a neighborhood in here. So we're going to stick right around here. All right. Um... I don't really like on this, the west side of 96. And let's do this. So we are Oregon and between Birchwood and Ironwood. All right. So we're in Oregon and between Birchwood and Ironwood. So we are right here. We look at this property here. Home last sold for, okay, that's on 214.
Is it this one or is it this one? All right, I think it's this brick one. Five, two, fourteen. I believe it's this brick one. So this is a, it's a side by, it's a duplex, um, which we can't really compare to ours, unfortunately. Okay. That's a hundred grand, that's 17 grand. Why did this sell for a hundred grand? Okay. It's either one or two things happen. Either they severely overpaid for that or it was bought as a package. It's one thing you got to understand is, is when they buy them as a package, say pay a hundred grand for four properties, every single property that's listed in there is going to be listed as a hundred grand. So, all right. So 115. Okay. So this is kind of really only the, I hate these corner houses. All right. So let's do this. I'm going to put this in privy and let's see what they come up with. Okay. First, you want to make sure you're not buying the lot and you're actually buying the house. Okay. So let's see here. This is your subject. This is 5K, 5K. So you're really only going to be. Um, Oh, do you believe it was a six pack, six properties? <laughs> yeah, so that would explain why it was a hundred grand. <laughs> so with this here, I definitely, yeah, I, I'm honestly looking at you know an after repair value. This is going to be a rental area period, um, so you got to fix it up and get it to rent out and. Even after that, you're probably looking at about 40 grand. So it's probably worth about that. Um, if it was a duplex, it'd be worth a little bit more. The problem is that it's a single family. So that's just my opinion. Um, we're going to do this there, extend the session. So I use, I have prop stream as well. All right, now who said let's talk uh, off market Warren? So off market Warren, if you have any addresses, send them my way and I'll take a look at them. Otherwise, we're about a half hour and a half mark. Okay, I think we're just about done. Unless you, I was it Kaya, and hopefully I did not butcher that name. Um. If you have an address you want me to um, uh, to count for you, let me know and I put it in the chat. So, otherwise, I think we're gonna call it a night. So, um, you know, and kind of go from there. No problem. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. Jim said thanks, Randy. It's all my pleasure. Hopefully I gave some value out to you guys, um, to anybody out there. Uh, if you do want to uh, JV with me, if you want to uh, talk with me or anything like that, by all means, here's my number. You 
you can email me as well. My email is scrolling at the bottom. Randy buys houses, mi at gmail.com. Um, happy to work with you. Happy to work with anybody. Um, and if you like these, uh, if you like these, um, comping videos or anything like that, please let me know and we can kind of go from there. All right. So I appreciate it. I, I appreciate everyone here and thank you. Have a good day and let's all do some deals together.